Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I am back with part two of a, like a little portion of my very long perfume wish list. So I've got a ton here. I'm gonna jump right in. Two fragrances that are at the top of my wish list. I did not have, I don't know why I didn't put them in the first wish list video that I did um, because these are at the very top of my wish list. The Guerlain Shalimar Melisme I hope I'm saying that right, Vanilla Planifolia, as well as the Guerlain Shalimar Melisme Tonka one. Both of them, I want both of them. They're at the very top of my wish list. Those are both fragrances that I want to add to my perfume collection so badly. Um, the generic perfumes Vanilla Planifolia oil has been holding me over, but I still want a bottle of the perfume badly. The oil is incredible, it smells just like it, but I still just want a bottle. Another fragrance, this is one that I had completely forgotten about until I started going through you know, my various wish, wish lists again, Penhaligon Savoy Steam. I absolutely adore that fragrance. I've heard bad things about the performance of it, um, I don't think that it probably performs the best in the world, but I think it smells incredible and I would love to have a bottle of it. I just don't think that I would pay over $200 for a bottle of something that is just going to perform badly on me, but oh my gosh, I want it. I really do. I am super late to the game with this one, but I really want the uh, black YSL Black Opium Le Parfum. I have the Intense formulation and I really enjoy the Intense. I've heard the Le Parfum is really, really like a deep and syrupy and gorgeous and beautiful though. So I really, really want to pick up a bottle of it. Um, it's still pretty pricey though, so I'm going to wait until it comes down in price some. There's a bottle of perfume that I keep coming across on Ulta. It's called Vacation and it's supposed to smell kind of like a coconut, like a kind of like a tropical floral sunscreeny type fragrance, but it also has like a lycra um, note in it. So I don't know, it gets mixed reviews. Some people really, really love it. Some people really, really hate it. It's on super sale right now. It's like $39 or something. So I, ne the next Ulta order I put in, I'm in prime probably gonna buy it. Um, I don't know. I think it could go either way. Um, but I love beachy fragrances like that, so I feel like I'm gonna like it, but I don't know. Um, another kind of newer release that I'm probably late to the game is Burberry Goddess. Um, it's supposed to be like a vanilla perfume. I love vanilla, and so I really, really want to get my nose on, on um, Burberry Goddess. Plus, I just absolutely adore Burberry fragrances in general. I just think they're fantastic, and so I'm super excited to get my nose on that one. Another one, I don't necessarily want a bottle of this, but I really want to get my nose on it, is the new Alien Goddess Super Floral, or whatever it's called. It's the one in the pink. Um, it's got pink liquid. Somebody told me that it's basically Alien Goddess, but if you took the coconut out. So it's just basically the florals of Alien Goddess, which if, if that's the case, then I'm not super like interested in it, but it is one that I would still really like to get my nose on. Another fragrance, this is another Burberry fragrance that I've been wanting to get my nose on for a very long time, or it's one that I would blind buy because I have a feeling I would really, really like it, is Burberry Her EDT, the one that is the green liquid. Um, it just looks fantastic, and I just feel like it would be such an easy to reach for, like gorgeous perfume. With the notes listed for that one, I don't feel like it, it's gonna have that Baccarat Rouge 540 scent profile that Burberry Her has, which I'm just completely over. Um, it looks like the EDT is completely different, so I really, really want to get my nose on that one. The original Tory Burch fragrance. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that that's the one. I got a sample vial of a Tory Burch fragrance. It's probably been, I think it was back in like 2017. I think it was 2017 that I got a sample vial of a Tory Burch fragrance. I could have sworn that it was like, I don't know. I can't even remember which one it was, but I have bought travel sprays or bottles of every single Tory Burch fragrance on the market except for the original Tory Burch, and it hasn't been any of those. So the only thing I can think is that it has to be the original. 
Um, so I really want to get my nose on the original Tory Burch to see if that's the fragrance that I had a sample vial of. It was a beautiful floral and I loved it and it smelled really, really good on me. Um, so I would love to find that perfume. I just don't know which one it is, but it has to be the original because I think I've tried every other Tory Burch, Burch fragrance on the market and none of them are it. Another one I really wanted, I really, really want to just buy, blind buy is uh, Cacherelle Noah Fleur. Um, I think I've told you guys that I've come across flankers of Noah every once in a while and I'm really, really interested in the flankers. I love Cacherelle Noah. I think it's stunning, it's ethereal, it's beautiful and I feel like the flankers would be nice too. This is a fragrance, I don't even know where I came across this fragrance and like I can see the bottle of it in my brain but I might have come across it on, um, I may have come across it on Mercari and when I looked it up it was like, oh my gosh, it looked like something I would absolutely love. It's from a house called Faviol Safari. I think is how you say that, Fabio Safari, and it's called Insomnia. And it is in the most gorgeous bottle, and the notes look fantastic, and yeah, it's one that I would completely blind buy. I feel like I would really love it. Um, a Montel fragrance. I really, really want Montel Chocolate Greedy. Um, I have had a sample, I do have a sample of it. I've got a sample of it, it smells amazing, it smells amazing on me, and I want a full bottle. I love it, it's like, it's nothing groundbreaking or anything, but it's like a milk chocolatey kind of vanilla chocolate type fragrance that will actually last a really long time because Montel fragrances are crazy long lasting. Prada La Femme. I love Prada La Femme. I really want Prada La Femme Intense. I don't have a bottle of Prada La Femme at the moment, um, but I really do, I really would like to pick up a bottle of Prada La Femme Intense. I think they're beautiful fragrances. Um, a Moschino fragrance, Moschino Cheap and Chic, just the original one in the black and red bottle, the one that actually looks like olive oil. I want that fragrance so bad. I picked up a sample of that from FragranceNet a couple years ago. I am in love with that perfume. I don't know why I have not picked up a bottle of it yet. And I absolutely love that perfume. I need it. I need it in my life. I don't know why it's not in my life already. Okay, another one. This is a fragrance that I heard about this fragrance like forever ago. I don't think that you can find it here in the US. I think you have to order it from the Middle East. I remember when I looked into ordering it, the shipping was really, really expensive. Like. $30 shipping and then the bottle was, I think the bottle was only like $80 so it wasn't that bad but with shipping it was just really expensive. But I heard, I, I don't know where I heard it, maybe I saw an interview or maybe I read an interview with Huda from Huda Beauty and she was saying, I think this was even before she came out with her own perfume line, but she was saying that her favorite perfume was a perfume called Layla from a house called Niama, 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 something like that. And I, you know, when she said that, I looked into it, and like I said, it it ended up being it was really difficult to find. Like you couldn't find it in the U.S. You had to order it from the middle the Middle East. Um, shipping was super expensive, and I was just sketched out about the whole thing. I really just didn't want to spend that kind of money, not knowing if I would actually even get the perfume. Like I just didn't know, so I just have never ordered it but I still really wanna get my nose on that perfume, especially now that she's started her own perfume line. Um, I would love to know what kind of perfume is like her favorite type of perfume. CKB, the one in the black bottle, I want a bottle of that. I've heard that, I've heard so many good things about it, but I want a vintage bottle, so I'm gonna have to hunt down a vintage bottle of that one. Jean Lanvin, I love that perfume, just the original Jean Lanvin from Lanvin. There's a flanker called Scandal, Jean Lanvin Scandal. I want it because I adore Jean Lanvin and so now, you know, I'm just naturally interested in the flanker. I don't know if it's good or not, but the bottle looks amazing. <laughs> and I have a feeling because I love the original so much that I would like the flanker. This is another fragrance. I came across this perfume so long ago and I have no idea where I came across this perfume, but it is a perfume from Hubert Mays. Yeah, Hubert Mays, M-A-E-S and it is called Delicious Histoire. I don't know where I came across that perfume. It's a niche house, um, but I looked up the notes years ago and it 
looks amazing and it's been on my wish list ever since. Um, Gail Heyman Delicious Feelings. I want it. I love Gail Heyman perfumes. I've had several of them. The only one that I currently have is Gail Heyman Delicious Vanilla. But I want Delicious Feelings because I their reviews are kind of mixed on it, but it gets more good reviews than bad reviews, and it just looks like a super easy to reach for fragrance. I also want just plain old Gail Heyman Delicious. Um, it looks like an amazing like vintage leaning type fragrance. I've never smelled it. I have a feeling it would be right up my alley that I would really love it. So I need to pick up a bottle. Gail Heyman fragrances are so affordable and some of them are absolute gems. There is a fragrance called Bijan Nude. It is discontinued. It is incredibly hard to find and I probably will never find a bottle of it, but it's a unicorn that's on my wish list. It's called Bijan Nude. I think it smells like something else, if I remember correctly. Um, but I just, I, it's been on my wish list for years and years, and it's still sitting on my wish list because, again, it's long discontinued. It's pretty hard to find, but I'm hopeful that one day I will find a bottle of it. I would love to be able to get my hands on any more fragrances from Brocard. Um, it's just incredibly difficult. They don't, you really can't find anybody in the United States that sells them. Um, I have smelled several, like I have one bottle and then I had somebody, uh, another perfume reviewer, she sent me three other fragrances from Brocard. And if you look up the house, like look at all of the bazillion different fragrances that they have, some of them look so incredible. And you know, someday, I would love to be able to purchase Brocard fragrances. Yeah, I've got a bazillion of them. I just said the house in general because I've got probably 12 Brocard fragrances on my wish list. Etat Libre d'Orange, one of my most favorite niche houses ever. It's like the first, it's really, that and Histoire des Parfums are the first two niche houses that I ever like dabbled in. And so they both hold a special place in my heart. Um, I love Etat Libre d'Orange, and I really, really want Fat Electrician. That's been on my wish list forever. I need to just pick it up. Um, I Am Trash it is such a stunning rose fragrance. I want it badly, and she was an anomaly. It is a gorgeous, um, I think it's an iris fragrance, if I remember correctly, and I absolutely love it. I love all of them. Um, I love Etat Libre d'Orange fragrances, but those are the three that I really, really want to pick up. Um, there is a Turkish house called Eiffel. Their fragrances are so inexpensive. They're like between seven and $10. They're so inexpensive. I wanna pick some up. I wanna get like five or six of them to just test the house. I don't know that I've ever Besides Nishan A, I think Nishan A is the only Turkish house I've ever smelled fragrances from. Um, I don't think I've ever smelled fragrances, any other fragrances from like any other Turkish houses. So I really wanna get my nose on these fragrances called Eiffel and they're like so inexpensive. There's so many fragrances that I want from Dua. One of the fragrances at the top of my Dua list is Dark Angelica, which is a clone of Guerlain Angelique Noir. I love Angelique Noir, it's just too expensive. So I would love to get the, the Dua clone. I could literally do just a Dua wish list video though. I've got so many fragrances from Dua that I want and they just keep adding more and more and more. And yeah, it just, it's it gets overwhelming with Dua sometimes because there are so many fragrances from that house that I want. Um, I want Frank Boclet Heliotrope. So I've got Frank Boclet Vigny, which I absolutely adore. And in that same line is one called Heliotrope. I really, really want the heliotrope one because I love heliotrope. It's one of my favorite notes. Um, I adore it. So yeah, I really want the one called heliotrope. I really want Anna Sui Sky. I saw, when it very, very first came out and I saw that bottle, the hot air balloon bottle, I was like, I literally, that could be horse piss in that bottle. And I do not care. I just want that bottle. Like I love hot air balloons. It is the cutest, like most whimsical body, bottle I've ever seen. And I love it. 
and I want it just for the bottle. Um, there's a 4711 fragrance that I want, a 4711 Aqua Colonia, and it is called Cotton and Almond, and it looks incredible. It probably lasts all of 10 seconds. I'm sure it, you know, performs like a body spray, but I don't even care. I just want it. It looks amazing. It looks fresh and beautiful. There is a niche house called Oriza L. Legrand. There are so many fragrances from that house that I would love to have. They also have a heliotrope fragrance that I want so bad. It's just called heliotrope. The bottles are some of the most stunning bottles I've ever seen in my life and I want it. I want heliotrope so bad. I really, really, this is just a whole house in general. I really, 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 really want to pick up the discovery kit from Henry Rose. Um, I've been asked about those fragrances so many times. It's a celebrity brand, so I typically steer clear of celebrity brands if I can, but I'm interested. I've had a lot of people tell me that the fragrances are actually really nice, and so at some point I'm gonna pick up the discovery kit, but I feel like when I went and looked at it, I felt like the discovery kit was really, really pricey for what it was. I think it was like, I don't know, $45 maybe, and you got like five, you know, one mil samples, um, which I feel like is super, super pricey, and which is what made me not wanna buy the discovery kit. Like, if you're gonna, if you're only gonna get like five one mil samples, I don't think that you should be charging above like $25 for a discovery kit. I feel like $25 is fair for five mil of fragrance. Um, anything about that is a little bit ridiculous. There is a Sweet Essentials oil called Bourbon Bourboned Pumpkin that I want so bad. A subscriber, she told me this, it was like back in the spring, I think that she picked it up and we were still kind of in our fall moods or you know, our like cold weather moods, but she told me a long time ago that Bourboned Pumpkin from Sweet Essentials is amazing. Every time I get on Sweet Essentials website though, I can't just order one oil. I'm gonna have to order like 15. So yeah, I go through the whole thing. I get a cart ready, but then I'll forget about my cart. By the time I go back to it, my cart's empty, which is so sad. Um, a Roberto Cavalli fragrance that has been on my wish list for years and I've never been able to find a bottle of this perfume. It is called Roberto Cavalli Just Cavalli Gold. Um, you can find Just Cavalli, you know, those are a dime a dozen. You can find Just Cavalli everywhere. You cannot find Just Cavalli Gold. Just Cavalli Gold has been discontinued. It's very, very difficult to find. And every once in a while, I'll go and look for it on Mercari and I'll see that a bottle sold for like $15 like three days ago and it will kill my soul when I see stuff like that because I want that fragrance so badly. Um, I also want another, I need a backup bottle of Burberry Brit Red if I ever can find a, another bottle of that on Mercari. Um, there are so many fragrances that I want. It's not even funny. Like I'm about to get on CJ Scents again. I haven't been on CJ Scents in a very long time and that CJ Scents are some of my most favorite indie fragrances of all time because her fragrances are so incredibly long lasting. They perform so well and they're so yummy and amazing and I can't wait to pull those out. Um, I will be pulling them out in like a month. I don't care if it's still hot out. As soon as September hits, it's fall in my mind and I will be pulling out my CJ scents. But anyways, you guys, that is, I'm gonna quit babbling because I've been, I feel like I've been babbling for 45 minutes. But yeah, that's just another small little portion of my wish list. I do hope that you all enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you in my next one. Bye.